We're here on Golden Brook Road where a tree fell in some wires knocking out power to some of the residents here. But as you can see, things are cleaned up and the good news is power was back on pretty quickly, but it wasn't the same story for others around the state. Golden Brook Road in Wyndham was quiet Sunday afternoon after a fast moving storm swept through early this morning. We're looking out the window and it took maybe five minutes of raining before we lost power here. Robert Reinhardt was one of many people living in this neighborhood that lost power. We saw firefighters, um, a few other uh, emergency vehicles going down that way. A tree had fallen in front of 13 Golden Brook Road causing damage that was quickly cleaned up. For them, power was back on in two hours. For others, the damage was more severe. Here's a picture from Bedford of a massive tree that fell on Back River Road. Then to Epsom, where trees came down at Webster Park. And also in Epsom, a tree came crashing down in someone's backyard. That was a similar sight in Ware. At first I heard rain, or what I thought was rain, and then it turned out to be wind, and I could look out my window and see that the winds were just whirling around. It was just a microburst. I looked out the, our, our dining room window and saw the tree down, which has been with us here for uh, over 40 years. This massive tree cracked in half at Craig Knoll's home, landing in his backyard. The silver lining is that it did not hit the house, and it could have. could have hit the shed over here, and it could have. Uh, so we are uh, we are very grateful that the damage wasn't any worse than it was. Three roads in Ware had to be partially closed or completely closed because of trees falling onto wires, something that knocked out power to more than half of the town. We didn't really realize there was that much wind here at the station, but once we got down to the area where the trees were down, we said, well, this is substantial damage here. There certainly was. Eversource says more than 23,000 customers were without power this morning. Most of them should be back online by the end of the day. Reporting in Wyndham, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.